Alright guys, so today we're going to be doing a little review for you guys on the $150 1.6 liter Miata turbo build for you guys. So if you guys saw the last video, you know that uh, it didn't really make it out, you know, alive. So everyone wants to know what's going on and it's yeah. really not bad, but my rim is ruined. Guys, my XXR, my niddle's fine. I bent it like... It's not really that bad, but it's not bad at all. Just we're just gonna, a we're gonna rip it. Late. Yeah. So we're just gonna give you guys a little review. We're gonna take the car out, and uh, yes, it still runs. No, there's no bent control arm or anything. Like he just said, where's my key? The rim is bent a little bit, so we're gonna go rip it. That's literally all that happened. It's not, it's not bad at all. That's it. The control arm is fine. Those of you guys that watch my channel, you know that Jonah just got new wheels on her Miata. So she was kind enough to donate her stock wheels to Dylan's car so that he could have wheels and uh, not have a cracked XXR. Here's, the, here's another look. Here, I'll, I'll give you guys a nice, good, hard look at the turbo kit here with these Harbor Freight welds. Turbo sticking up. Here's the air box. <laughs> Starts up nice. First try. Alright, so the first thing that you notice about this car, if you listen, you'll notice that it has a really high idle. We had no choice, it won't yeah. stay on. It, it won't stay running exactly how the S14 was, like at drift events in line. Oh, I was yeah. literally brapping the gas to keep it alive. So I'm just gonna take it around here, let it warm up before I do anything, do any pulls or anything. Just warm the car up a little bit here. It's been idling for a little bit. It spools so loud. It's, I love it though. It's so like the spool is real here, yeah. guys. So I'm just gonna break down the costs real quick. The turbo was about a hundred bucks. The piping was about forty, and all, all the, the fittings and, all and the, shit. It was yeah. like ten bucks. So all this stuff. It's all at a low. Yeah. So you're looking at about a hundred and fifty dollars for the full kit. Obviously, we did all of the, most of the piping, I should say, on our own. We did all the pie cut 90s. We, you know, did all the measurements. We did the manifold. We pretty much did all that. Me, Dylan, and Cam, we all took turns just, you know, welding. It took a long ass time, I'm not gonna lie, but. Uh, One whole day. Like, yeah, it took a whole day, of day like straight welding. Cam's, oh, remember his fucking welder burn, dude? He oh, yeah, he got welder burn bad. Because he wasn't wearing uh, gloves, yeah. Alright, so uh, I'm gonna take it through first and second for you right here and we'll give an honest review of how much it pulls. It's probably pulling about as hard as maybe a 1.8T Jetta with like an intake and an exhaust and a stage one tune. You get like, it pulls you in the seat a little bit, but like by no means does it feel like it has more horsepower than it actually has. Like the turbo is on there, but almost mainly for torque if that makes sense to you guys like it like yeah it allows the engine to do what it does like, yeah it's, it's not capable. like it's capable it just doesn't have like the uh the oomph right yeah. there you need that little bit of snot to go with the with this 1.8t style turbo here Kicking, dude. Uh -huh. It was like, wow, shit. It came so late. That was kind of weird. That's funny. It's definitely loud. It's kind of loud. 
but by no means is it louder than a V8. Like, if you go to drift events, if any of you have been to drift events. Oh yeah, a stock V8 is so yeah, much Oh louder. yeah, stock V8, straight pipe V8, so much louder than this thing. Did you feel that understeer? Because the front tires on this thing are they're like... They're so thin right now. They're like four inches wide. They're, they're horrendously thin. If you so. had the niddles, you would have been able to hug that. If you're trying to initiate on loose rock, don't try it, please. This car is so much fun to drive. It's just that boost, it like... It's so weird to explain. It's not like a violent boost. It's just like... It's extra oomph. Like, it's just extra torque. If you know, if you can understand what I'm trying to say here. Like no clutch kick, it's there. It's just there, yeah. yeah. You mat it and you're gonna have a little bit of extra nut right there. I'll take it through the gears again for you guys right here. given the opportunity to, to boost yeah. your Riata for 150 bucks, please do. Oh my. You will not be disappointed. Yeah, it looks a little bit ratchet, but fuck so the, the fuck looks. Watching. Exactly, the performance is there. You're gonna fucking be boosting it hard. This thing, like, if you've ever driven a stock, I daily a stock 1.6 Miata for two years. I've had two of them. I've towed them, I've drifted them. And this, this KO3 upgrade here is the world of difference as far as like torque and horsepower goes. I'm not even sure how much horsepower it's making, but I know for a damn sure it's, it's more than stock. Just trying to dial out the idle right now. We actually got it. It was at like 25 before, but we're just gonna go lower and lower until the car starts to try and die. All right, so we dialed back the idle and it definitely makes a difference oh, because yeah. just kind of cruising around on the street, it's already so much quieter. I don't know why we didn't try and dial back the idle earlier. We were just kind of like, raise it and let's go drive it because it's fun as fuck. Now we're gonna rip it. Dude, she feels so good now. I can't I even lie, like. It's nice. See, do you hear the idol? It's it regular. It's so nice now. It's regular. You can't even hear it. It's not, it's so regular, it's beautiful. The turbo also got rid of that little, like, you know how it puttered out a little bit when you started? Oh yeah. Now you can just give it gas and it's all good. There you guys have it. That is your review on the 1.6 Miata $150 turbo kit. Also guys, if you wanna check out the haggardracing.com site, we have some sick shit going on right now. Everything in the store is 30% off. All you gotta do is use the coupon code BTS. That's back to school, coupon code BTS. And when you use that coupon code, you are automatically entered for a chance to win a Haggard gym bag completely full of apparel so that you guys can be swag when you're going back to school. So I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. It was really, really fun to make. So 
Let us know what you think in the comments. Have a good day.